is a book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 13. In the parish prayer of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, the great male stone. Revelation 13, 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. The so called white man did this in the time of Hiroshima, Japan, when he dropped a hydrogen bomb upon so called Japanese children. So this man, he has been given this technology by the Heavenly Father in order for the, he created the waste to destroy. Like it says in the Holy Bible, the smith, the blow with the coals into the fire, which is the ICBM missiles, which are coming to America, Babylon the Great. So this is what this man has done, has done. He dumped our people into himself, created weapons of destruction. He is death as death itself, like it says in the book of Habakkuk. Revelation 13 and 14, and deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, the apparel, the dupe, and the sight of the beast. So his miracles is what? Through his technology. Showing you that he can restore the blind, editing the creation of the Lord. This is why he sits on, on the temple of God, claiming that he is the Heavenly Father. Is technology, which is nothing but deception, witchcraft, false pretenses. So he's giving you these promises to things like a metaverse. He claims he's going to make you as, as, as God, but the Lord God is going to throw him down, and two thirds of our people get deceived by his philosophies. So this is how he deceives people with his miracles, miracle of, of science, and so on and so forth. The beast is what? The revitalized Roman Empire, which we're in it all over again. You see that during the paganistic holidays. You see that in his written law. You see that in the days of the uh, days of the week, in the months of the year. Revelation 13 and 14, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Why? Because the ancient Roman Empire was destroyed. But now it, it, it is back again in the regeneration. The Israelites are back again in what you call reincarnation, according to the Holy Bible. The image is what? The so-called white man's infrastructure. It's pseudoscience. All the things that he perpetrates on planet Earth, which is based on nothing but deception, mainly towards the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites, the people of the Holy Bible. Revelation 13, 15, and he had power to give life to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. This is the book, Revelation, chapter 12, and verse 7. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Which is why the so-called white man 
has made a so-called space force. Why? Because he's, he knows they are the, their sightings of the chariots of the Lord, which are the so-called UFOs and the Holy Bible in the midst of the, whole, of the whole earth. Look it up. In Ukraine, World War I, World War II, he saw many, many UFO sightings. These are the chariots of the Lord. The men in World War One and Two called them Foo Fighters. So the so-called white man knows what is coming. And he's so delusional, he's going to attempt to fight the chariots of the Lord in the sky. Revelation 12 and 8. And prevail not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. Revelation 12 and 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now was come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God, and the power of his anointed, for the accuser of our brethren is cast out, which accused them. For God, day and night. So the so-called white man is known as the accuser of our brethren. Ultimately, he's going to increase his unrighteous decrees as he tries to forward his new world agenda, he's getting, and he's, which is why he calls those that are out preaching the Holy Bible in its entirety, GMS and these other camps that are preaching the Bible as well. Black Hebrew Israelites, we are not black, we are not brown, that is a color. We are the people of the book. We're giving you the 100% truth, thus saying the Holy Bible. So this man is going to ultimately come up against our people to accuse us by his false agendas. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives to their death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, them that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For well, the devil has come down unto you, heaven, great wrath, because he knows that he had but a short time. So the so called white man is going to come down with great wrath. He will be as a madman, sparing none. So you had, you're, you've been told what will come to pass. Thus saith the Holy Bible, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You must seek the Most High God while he still may be found. Call upon his name, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and the prophecies of the Holy Bible. Repent as Israelites. Repent and believe the gospel. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. So guess what? Martial law is in the Holy Bible. FEMA camps are in the Holy Bible. World War III is in the Holy Bible. The great famine that is coming is in the Holy Bible as well. So is the mark of the beast, which is the Ark by the chip. Revelation 13 and 16, two-thirds of our people will be coerced into taking the Ark by the chip. They're going to be destroyed. You're talking in Spanish. I don't understand what you say. Revelation chapter 2, verse 11. 
He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. What is the second death? The lake of fire, which is in the form of America, Babylon, the great, being utterly burnt up by the ICBM missiles. Nations like Russia, China, Iran will come up against America, Babylon, the great to utterly consume it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And the word of the Lord's patience is the prophecies of the Holy Bible, which is why we labor in his word. Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast with thou hands, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more ever. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down from heaven. For my God, and I will write upon him my new name. The new temple coming down from heaven is when the remnant get delivered out of America, Babylon the Great. And that new name is talking about a refreshing, like it says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 62. The refreshing will be the law coming out of Jerusalem, the Garden of Eden, which is Jerusalem, which is Jerusalem, the name of Jerusalem in ancient Hebrew, which was a people before it was a place. So you're going to have a remnant that will be delivered out of America, out of America Babylon the Great right before it gets destroyed. This is what Paul the Apostle spoke about, when they will be caught up into the heavens, be changed in the blink of an eye, which means they'll be given spiritual power, and then return after they're placed back into their own land. They're gonna descend from the heavens via the chariots, so-called UFOs, and the Holy Bible. This is that rod of iron spoken of in the book of Revelation. This is why we labor in this word. And, and, and so two-thirds of our people do not understand. Why? Because they do not read the Holy Bible. They do not seek the, Abraham, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Why? Because they're infatuated with this world. They're infatuated with the tangible things. These things which are passing away quickly before your very eyes. Chapter 2, verse 2. I know thy works, and thy labors, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and hast tried them which say that they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars. Which is why we give the double honors to the oaths and apostles of Great Mill Stone. This is the only Hebrew Israelite camp to give you the 100% truth of the Holy Bible, calling out these other camps, which is part of of our customs, do not suffer sin upon your neighbor. Which is a righteous thing to do in the sight of the Lord God. Which is to call out the hypocrisy of these camps. Proverbs chapter 6 and 23 says that the law is a light and reproofs and instruction are a way of life. So not only are we reproving our people, but these other camps that are perpetrating falsehood in Israel. So 
We're doing it according to the Holy Bible, not like you other nations, which are nothing but hypocrites. The book of Sirach says that a council of sinners and not prudence. So there's an order to everything, a time and a place for everything under the sun, like the Holy Bible says. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 3. And is born and has patience, for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou have left, has left thy first love. Remember therefore from that whence thou art fallen, and repent to the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. For the Holy Bible says, when you receive this understanding, you're supposed to grow in this thing, or else the Lord will spew you out. The Lord does not, does not need a slothful man. The Lord does not need a coward. The Lord does not need a part-time Israelite. And these fringes will not save you in that day. A Jew is one inwardly, like the Holy Bible says. It's not about how you dress. It's about knowing the counsel of the Lord. It's about calling upon his name, Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai, seeking the prophecies of the Holy Bible. He put flee from the shadow of this world. Watching as well as praying that you live to see the coming of the Son of Man, which is Hamashiach Yahushai, who you call Jesus Christ, which was the so-called black man of the tribe of Judah. The blood of Christ, which are the so-called African Americans. So it says, Revelation 2 and 5, Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of its place, except thou repent. And the scriptures, the Holy Bible says, that a man falls seven times and gets up again. Second Edges, chapter 8, and verse 48. And this also, thou art marvelous before the Most High, and that thou hast humbled thyself, as it becometh thee, and hast not judged thyself worthy to, to be much glorified among the righteous. So we labor in this word. Our charge, the charge of this ministry is to, is to preach the Holy Bible, the prophecies of the Holy Bible, not counting ourselves and comparing ourselves amongst others, glorifying in, 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 in large congregations. This is about speaking his word and the prophecies. It's not about getting rich and fame. We don't need the fame. We just need the mercies, the sure mercies of David, which we are, we, which what we hope for. Second Andrews, chapter eight, and verse fifty: For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked great pride. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. For unto you paradise is open, the tree of life is planted, the time to come is prepared, plentiness is made ready, a city is builded, and rest is allowed, yet perfect goodness and wisdom. The tree of life is the Holy Bible, the volume of the book, with 100% truth, according to precept upon precept, line upon line, 
here little, there little. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 10 and on down. Second Edges chapter 8 and verse 53. The root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness and the moth is hid from you. And corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. Sorrows are past. And in the end, the shoe showed the treasure of immortality. And therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of His law, and forsook His ways. So two-thirds of our people will forsake the word of the Lord. The law, statutes, and commandments will be destroyed for lack of understanding. Like the Holy Bible says, when they shall say peace and safety and sudden destruction cometh upon them. Why? Because all these things are coming as a snare upon the earth. Martial law, FEMA camps, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Revelation 13 16, the second coming of Amasha Gelshai, you call Jesus Christ, a so called black man of the tribe of Judah. Second Edges, chapter 8, 57. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous and said in their heart that there is no God. Yeah, and knowing that, they must die. For as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pay are prepared for them. For it was not his will that man should come to not. So some of our people are serving in the so-called white man's military. They're going to have to they're gonna be sent to war, in World War III to perish. There's coming a famine in America, Babylon the Great. Martial law, FEMA camps, so-called white man coming down with great wrath, knowing that it's time short to establish his new agenda, new world agenda, which is our find the chip, which is the hour of temptation. You won't choose either man or the creator of heaven and earth in that day. So two-thirds of our people will be coerced into taking our fire chip, will be thrown to the lake of fire, which is America, Babylon the Great, being utterly destroyed by nuclear fire. Second Edges, chapter 8, and verse 60. But they which be created had defiled the name of him that made them, and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. Second Edges, chapter 8, verse 61. And therefore is my judgment now ahead. These things have I not shewed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, So Mashiach Shai, he spoke about many being called, few being chosen. Second Edges, chapter 8, and verse 63. Behold, O Lord, thou hast shewed me the multitude of the wonders which thou shalt begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not showed me? Second Edges, chapter 9, and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, thou shalt understand that it is the very same time we're in the highest, we begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For as like all that is made in the world hath the beginning and, the, and an end, and the end is made manifest. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 6. 
even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs and every one that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith wherein you have believed shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders where I sanctify them for me from the beginning then they shall be a pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment Second Edges, chapter 16, verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. The other that escape the hunger, hunger shall the sword destroy, and the dead shall be cast out as dung. There shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast out. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give their fruit and who shall gather them? The grapes shall ripe, and who shall tread them? For our places shall be desolate of men, so that one man shall desire to see another, and to hear his voice. For of a city there shall be ten left, and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in thick groves, and in the clefts of the rocks, as in an orchard of olives, upon every tree there are left, three or four olives, or when as a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, and verse 3. For thus saith the Lord of God, the city that went out by a thousand shall leave a hundred, and that which went forth by a hundred shall leave ten to the house of Israel. You're going to have two thirds of our people being destroyed in martial law, FEMA camps, World War III. In America, Babylon, the great. A remnant will be delivered via the chariots of the Lord, which is multitude and multitudes of so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which is one third of the nation of Israel, which is still a lot of people because we are as the sand of the sea that cannot be numbered. Amos chapter 5 and verse 4. For thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. Amos chapter 5 and verse 7. Ye who turn judgment to wormwood, leave off righteousness in the earth. Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion, turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day dark with night. They call it for the waters of the sea and pour them out upon the face of the earth. Yahweh is his name. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They abhor him that speaketh upright. So whether you like it, believe it or not, the Lord God.